outside look at this emotional episode. So, Doctor, we understand the Sacramento woman, Jessica, actually reached out to your show for help. Tell us about that. She did, and we're profiling her story with her families in an episode that aired both yesterday and is airing today because this is a family in such disarray. Jessica had reached 500 pounds, wow. food addiction, drug addictions, and the thing is, when we sort of uncovered the layers going on with this family, came to find out that her parents and grandma were all dealing with these food addiction, drug addiction problems, and the family itself was so dysfunctional that Jessica turned to these really negative modalities to sure. deal with her emotional problems. And it's kind of a, I think it's a, a heartwarming story in some ways because the episode that airs today we're able to finally get this family communicating. It's amazing once a family communicates with one another, tells each other they love each other, they can start working to heal. And, and I think this is one of those stories a lot of people can relate to. Maybe not to the degree, because this is a family that is struggling, Jessica's struggling, but there's a silver lining here, which is finally this family, I think, is talking together and working to improve. And Jessica's actually um, getting treatment now, which is exactly what she needs. Oh, that's great wow. news. And yeah, communication, so key. And uh, Dr. Travis, you're always working hard to help individuals. And there's another story that's a high profile situation with a celebrity athlete that we haven't heard a whole lot about the aftermath of the situation with former NBA star Lamar Odom. I understand you were one of the first to speak with him after his horrific ordeal. Well, yeah, Lamar sat down with me for his first interview, and it was well over a year after he almost died, and we know that story so well. But what a lot of people don't know, but they do now, finally, is the story of Lamar trying to get his life back. And I, I was really honored that Lamar came to our show because he needed help. We were able to get him into rehab, and Lamar's still doing the things he needs to do. And again, our show, we talk about this. Once you've dealt with drug or alcohol addiction, it's not as though one day you wake up and say, you know what, I'm never going to have those urges okay. again. It's just, I'm good. And yeah, so his story, I think, is, is really compelling because he even acknowledges, look, this is going to be a battle the rest of his life. Yeah. But if, if Lamar can do it in the public eye, I, I hope other people out there will get the help they need. Fewer than 10% of people who are addicted to drugs or alcohol get the help they need. Dr. Travis Stork, Dr. Travis, always a great time talking to you, and thank you for the insight, and we look forward to seeing some of these really emotional and groundbreaking episodes coming up on The Doctors. Coming up soon. Yeah, Thanks CW. Uh, really weekdays at 1 p.m. There you go. Coming up in the next hour.